up now, we have an artist who proves you really can have it all. It gives me great pleasure to introduce the kind, the caring, gorgeous and talented Rachel Kerr. Lovely energy spreading it everywhere. Oh. It's really lovely to have you. <laughs> Thank you. It's good to be here. Good. Um, now, can you tell me? You've got a song called Kingdom Soldier, mm -hmm. is that right? That's right. Can you tell me what a Kingdom Soldier actually is? Okay, cool. Um, a Kingdom. I wrote this song about last year, and basically, it's a song that is for young people who are strong in their faith, people who aren't afraid of making change in their societies, people who are just strong people who who want to live life for a good reason, um, according to a good purpose. So yeah, it's just basically for people who are wanting to do make positive change and aren't afraid to do that. Um, so yeah, it's it's basically for people like that. 
Um, tell me about when you performed, you performed at Wembley, is that right? Yeah, we did recently, I performed at Wembley. Um, it was amazing. What was even more amazing was the f as soon as I came out on stage, obviously you hear the roar of applause. Um, but on the very front row, my mum, my dad and my brother and my auntie were there, the very front row. Oh. So that was an amazing comfort just How to see them. How many people were there? Okay, as far as I could see, I just saw heads. Oh my so, god, it must have been like your dream. It was Is that amazing. the biggest crowd you've performed to? Probably the biggest one to date, yeah. So it was amazing, great experience, and I'll do it all day, every day. Do you think you prefer performing for a large crowd, or do you like smaller, intimate? Gigs? You know what, um, I don't mind. For me, it's a case of whenever, whether I'm performing in front of three people or 3,000 people, I, I'm one of those people who I have to give my all, I have to give 110%. Um, I'm just really grateful to be able to sing and to be able to be given the opportunity to sing to a lot of people. So if it's two, if it's three, if it's 3,000, I want to give it my all, so I don't mind. <laughs> if you had to choose your favourite, I understand you're fans of both, mm -hmm. who would you choose between Tina Turner oh. and uh, Kim Burrell? Oh my gosh. Um, Kim Burrell, for me, her vocal ability, how she is an artist, just more than any singer I know, I think she's really mastered her vocal ability and she can do pretty much anything with her voice. So for me, Kim Burrell. Now, another choice. Mm -hmm. uh, Hagen Daz or Ben & Jerry's? Oh, <laughs> okay. Actually, we had this debate, like me and my girlfriends, we have the most random debates, and this was one of them recently. <laughs> now, it depends. I think Ben & Jerry's is one of those all-time feel-good kind of desserts. Hagen Daz is if you're having a bit more of a classy evening. So <laughs> <laughs> it really depends, but for me, I'd say Ben and Jerry's. Oh, for me, it's cookie about cookies and cream. Really? Yeah, that's, that's my favourite Hagen Dazs, <laughs> but it, it depends. But I love them both. <laughs> well, thank you so much oh. for telling us a bit about yourself. And uh, it's been wonderful meeting you. Thank you so much, you too. <laughs>